I have eaten some weird things in the past. Liver, kidneys, heart, snails. It's a strong smell, very weird strong smell. Today, I'm going to eat some black bloody sausage. Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Hope you're doing well. My name is Mitch May and we are working through every freaking recipe in Anthony Bourdain's Layal cookbook. This is French bistro food with some strange recipes out there that are not akin to New Jersey. And I do want you to stick around to the end of this video because I found something damn interesting with this book, with Bourdain, but I am talking enough. Today we are making boudin noir. Boudin noir. Uh, it is sausage made with blood. This is what Bourdain says is some of the best eating on earth. Now I did actually have this once at a French restaurant and I wasn't crazy about it. So I'm curious what we're looking at today. And finally, Bourdain says this is nice with mashed potatoes. I'm gonna do a little recipe in the back here with potatoes that are actually cooking away in the oven as we speak. Enough talk as usual. I have Bourdain's cookbook in the bottom of the description of this video if you wanna check it out. If not, follow along. Let's get making some bloody freaking black sausage. I said it. So to begin ahead of time, we made our potatoes, which are rocking in ye old tiny toaster oven as we speak. Very simply, we took two egg whites. We mixed them up until they had soft peaks. Then we dumped a whole lot of salt, combined that in a bowl that was way too tiny for what I was doing. Then we took our potatoes. I noticed some nasty bits, cut them off, and packed the mixture on top of our potatoes. They are sitting in there with about 30 minutes left. That will give us enough time to prepare these boudins. Before we reveal our sausage, we start with an apple that was organic. Skin it, slice it, Take out the core, we're good to go. Let's whip out our sausages. Thank you, my brother, for taking these out for me. They really don't look that crazy. Out of all the shit I've eaten so far, a little bloody sauce ain't much. Now Bourdain is going to have us prick these things ever so slightly, not too much. I imagine the idea here is so we don't have these things bleed all over the place or explode. I don't really know why we're doing salt and pepper because I would assume these are seasoned appropriately, but who the hell am I to know? Let's move on to caramelizing our apples, which I've actually never done. In a saute pan, combine two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of butter and cook over medium heat until the mixture is bubbling and caramel colored. Well, I don't know what happened here at all. I'm going to strain some of this excess butter that we have and work with this caramel that we now have. Now we're going to add our apple wedges and even more carefully, toss them over medium heat for about three minutes. This is the weirdest thing ever. Dessert and me do not play nice. However, my fear is this caramel mixture is going to burn. Filed the recipe to a T. If you know what uh, went wrong here, very good apples though. So we got our pan coming up to temperature here to saute the sauce each. We got our apples simmering away, looking delicious. But it is time to pull out our potatoes that are soaked in uh, a lot of salt. Pow, ping, it's hot. Oh, wow. We cracked this open actually, the directions say. Don't mind if I do. Jeez, I shouldn't have packed it. I packed it in there. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go, cool. Did you ever have one of those toys with the dinosaurs in the egg? I always threw those on the ground. <laughs> I'm about to throw this thing. Our potatoes are encased, are soft as fudge. And I, ugh. Let's just hang out here. Let's uh, saute our sausages. We're gonna cook these over two minutes per side, being always gentle. and cook for an additional 10 minutes. While those are in the oven, let's try to excavate our potatoes. I see it, I see the, the freedom. Oh. hey -o. we got one. Yes. Comment of the week, Mace Beatbox. Thank you for the appreciation for messing up. That's kind of what this channel is about. Some people think, Food, sort of just, you should know. No, none of that. No one comes out of the womb knowing how to caramelize a freaking apple or the boiling point of water. Nope, you just keep on trying things out. Rant over. 
I am curious what this tastes like though. Never do that again. These are getting close to being done. If you'd like, think about subscribing, joining my journey. I don't really post on anything other than YouTube. So if you wanna see updates on what videos are coming, subscribe and I post in the community feed pretty often. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the presentation, but I'm thinking since AB says we're gonna do mash, I'm gonna just have a nice slice of our potato with the apple, of course, and try to present it all artfully. Let's try her out. I just want to try unadulterated bloody sausage. There she is. That is rather nice. Um, this, you might be asking, what is that? It's a freaking celery leaf I pulled out of the fridge. It tastes like, like liver, like pate. I don't know if it's as juicy and bloody as it should be. I mean, try it with the apple. I could see this with like a frise salad or something sharp to cut the heaviness we have, but that's kind of where the apples kick in. There is a lot going on in there. That is not for the faint of heart, but definitely for Mitchell. I give this little check mark, and now I get to share with you the interesting little fact I found with this cookbook. Of course, it is named after Anthony Bourdain's restaurant, which was in New York City, named Leal. But recently, I was watching Bourdain's first episode of No Reservations, where the man goes to Paris and he visits the Leal. It is the central, well, it was the central marketplace of Paris, where a lot of this food I've been trying to recreate was born and molded. Then Bourdain goes to a restaurant near Leal where they're serving up this type of traditional cuisine. So this is Blanquette de Veau, Blanquette de Veau Blanc, meaning white. As I'm watching this, I've made Blanquette de Veau, and I'm thinking I have to try some of this food myself. Talk to some random people and see what happens. It lasts like six hours. Oh my freaking gosh. 